Good morning. <clears throat> so my name is Ryan Brady. I work at Red Hat, and I've been a user of and a contributor to Mistral for about a year. <clears throat> so Mistral is a workflow service. Um, it provides you with a mechanism to define tasks and workflows. It manages the, the state of those workflows while you're executing in your OpenStack cloud. Mistral was originally founded in the Havana release of OpenStack. Uh, our latest release has about 50 contributors um, total. The recent survey adoption numbers were that were deployed in 5% of clouds. Um, but another interesting note is that we're, we've been in triple O, used in all triple O deployments since Newton. Going back to take a look at what we did in Okada, there are some performance and reliability improvements. There's a lot of bug fixing that went on. There are some improvements to the, the Horizon plugin that we use as our Mistral dashboard. There were YAKL functions that were added. Most notably was the tasks function, which you can filter all the user's tasks by a workflow execution ID or state, and you can recursively get the entire list of tasks that you need. <clears throat> Looking forward towards Pike, what we're working on right now. For workflow error analysis, today when, you're, when a workflow fails, it, it may be difficult for you to quickly find the root cause. There, for each task that you want to look at and uh, inspect, you have to run three different commands in the client, and you'll have to keep doing that over and over to get all of that data back, and then you compile it yourself to take a look at it. So this feature is where we're going to have a single API call. It's going to go get all of that information for you and return that back to you in a, a more usable way. So it, it should cut down your time of trying to get to the root cause of whatever the failure is. <clears throat> for the GUI, uh, this is going back to the, the Mistral dashboard. There's going to be a demo on the 25th, and an email is going to be sent out to the list. But the, the dashboard's crucially important, especially if you're dealing with uh, big workflows or long-running workflows. Uh, and it's hard to see the whole picture clearly, so we want to provide some sort of visualization to you. And then <clears throat> we're refactoring our OpenStack actions. Uh, there's a, a larger, and we'll talk about that later, but there's a larger um, change to our entire action um, platform throughout. And so we need to refactor OpenStack actions on top of that. But we also want to provide some multi-versioning support. So if you wanted to use, you wouldn't be pinned right now. Right now, if you wanted to use, say, Ironic, you'd be pinned to whatever release we're using for the Ironic client. But we want to be able to provide you the ability to pick which client you wanted to use if you're using a different version. So the multi-region support to allow you to run different actions in different clouds, or different tasks in different clouds. It's going to allow it to run without any uh, configured keystone endpoint. All action will be performed using whatever keystone endpoint credentials are passed into the request. <clears throat> For the sensitive data, if you want to pass, like say, passwords into a Mr. Workflow right now, and it gets logged somewhere, that password could potentially be logged. So the sensitive data spec is going through and ensuring that you can declare what data needs to be kept private in a workflow that you're passing in. And then that'll be masked in areas like logging so that you won't be exposing some of your secrets. <clears throat> the workflow execution event publication and subscription. Right now, you can interact with Mistral from an external system. You can create workflows and workflow definitions. You can schedule them to run. You can check their execution. But to do all this, you're going to end up polling to get the execution and to, to get what the status is and then come back and get the result. So this feature is essentially uh, creating a, uh, a callback API, if you will. So 
you can pass your callback in whenever the workflow completes, it will call back to the other system. And it's going to be implemented via a plugin. So you would create a uh, plugin that would allow you to do this. The release themes. So scalability, interoperability, user experience are all things that we're really tightly focused on. A little bit on manageability and security. Uh, modularity and resiliency aren't something that we're going to be focusing on in Pike, but heading into the future, we will be looking more at some of those. <clears throat> so instead of breaking out into Queens and the R release, it, we've got some project goals that we've published for 2017, and these are generally going to drive uh, what we're doing as time goes on. So the first one is our documentation. We really need to close the gap on things that are missing. Uh, we need to have a consistent theme in our docs and a consistent style, kind of a overall improvement. We need to ensure that all the examples and tutorials are published over in Mistral Extra, that they're working, um, that they're up to date. We need to complete our custom actions API. For two cycles, we've been working on revamping how actions work for uh, third-party support if you want to integrate, but it's causing a big change internally to change all of our actions to, to follow that. <clears throat> we also want to work on multi-node mode, and there's a, a lot of work that is involved with making sure that that runs smoothly. And the last one is we really want to increase performance. We, we want to reduce average workflow execution time by 30%, and it's something we feel we can Definitely do. <clears throat> so if you'd like to uh, find us, we're, we're always looking for contributors. Uh, we hang out in OpenStack Mistral on Freenode, and we have weekly meetings at 1500 UTC in OpenStack Meeting 3. Are there any questions? Yes, sir. Your question was, what were the primary underpinnings that would change that would cause increases in performance? Yes. OK. Good question. <clears throat> we're going to be working on uh, part of the RPC work that's underneath. Um, there's improvements to the database layer that we can do. Um, pretty much that's what I know for now. We, we can talk to you or not. So, yes, sir. You mentioned uh, supporting multiple nodes via um, say RPC, uh, Robin, or whatever. And um, I wondered if you are looking at RPC versioning to support rolling up updates or rolling upgrades from, from, from the outset. That's a very interesting point. Uh, I think I'll definitely take that back to them. Thank you. Yes, sir. Your question will So his question was, is Mistral a good use case for cleaning up VMs that may have been running too long? Was that your, that's your question? OK. So yes, Mistral seems like it would be a, a, a great choice. You, you could schedule your workflow with a cron trigger. And that workflow could go out and check the status of it and take care of whatever you need to. There's OpenStack actions where you could uh, integrate with Nova there. Does that answer your question? Yeah, perfect. Awesome. I'll, t I'll talk to the uh, triple O guy that uh, works on Mistral. Cool. <laughs> Are there any other questions? All right, well, thank you for coming out this morning, and uh, I hope you can find us in IRC.
if you guys want to come learn about Mistral or get it up and running or try writing a workflow. Uh, 